Okay, today we're going to uh, uh, look at how to transfer an existing domain or existing uh, WordPress website from an existing domain to a new domain. Uh, first, I would recommend that you open up your uh, dashboard for WordPress under your new and existing domain. Your cPanel under your new and existing domain, if you look at it, I have it already up. Uh, the PHP My Admin for your new and existing domain, as well as your file manager under your uh, um, new and existing domain. For the purposes of this screencast, I have all of my uh, um, new domain on my left of the screen and my existing domain on the right. You can set it up however you want, it's just so I can keep track of the different tabs and the activities that I'm doing. On the first part of the uh, um, uh, uh, transfer process, uh, let's go to your uh, new domain uh, WordPress dashboard and look at the theme uh, that we have available. Uh, in this case, I've already uploaded the, the theme that we need, uh, that we have on the existing domain. In this case, it's this optimized press theme. And if you look at uh, the uh, tab for the existing domain, it's, it's also the uh, a default theme right at this point. If you do not have that already installed, then go ahead and click on Install Themes. Uh, and upload that that uh, uh, um, theme. You do not have to activate it at this point. I've already activated it, but you do not have to at this point. Uh, I will tell you when's the best time to do that. Uh, for the purpose of the screencast, I've already done a few things just to speed the, the process up. Uh, when we go back to the tab for the existing uh, uh, um, domain, we want to go and again, the existing domain is the the, the website that we're taking and, and moving somewhere else to the new domain. In this case, we want to go look at plugins. This case, we have uh, uh, beyond the two basic Hello Dolly and AskMit, uh, we also have the contact form, custom contact form, uh, the FCK editor, and the page mash. You want to make sure. Uh, that you have the same uh, plugins on your uh, new domain that you have on your existing domain. So make note of the the uh, plugins that are are here, as well as which ones are active under the existing domain. We'll go over here to the new domain and look at the same thing. Um, that's taking a minute to load. Uh, while that's doing that, we'll go back to the existing domain admin panel and take a look at um, again which ones are active and we don't need to activate them yet at this point we will activate the plugins uh, as well as here we go uh, here's the um, uh, new domain and we'll activate those plugins and the themes all at the same time right now all I want you to do is to look at uh, do you have all the same plugins if you do not go up here and click add new search for that uh, um, particular uh, uh, plugin and go ahead and install it. Again, you don't have to activate it at this time. You can, but it's, it's not necessary. Um, once all your plugins are the same and uploaded, uh, or installed, I'm sorry, and your theme is, uh, your themes are the same, you can go ahead and activate the same theme F that the existing uh, WordPress website has uh, on your new domain and go ahead and activate the same plugins that you have on your uh, uh, existing domain uh, on your new do domain. And in this case, again, it's the FCK editor and the page mesh should be active and the optimize press theme should be active. If you went to your website right now with the optimize press, you have to put in a key and y your website's going to basically be a, a white page with uh, a little error message on it. Don't worry about that right now. We haven't imported the database. The database will take care of that. Okay. Um, 
we have at this point uh, to summarize again we have installed and activated the theme this that we have on the existing domain on the new domain we have uh, um, uh, installed and activated the same plugins uh, um, that are on the existing domain on the new domain One other quick uh, thing on your existing domain, uh, on the plugins, if you have any updates, this is before we want to export the database, you want to make sure that all your plugins are up to date. So the same version, because you have the new versions on the new domain, uh, you want to make sure the existing domain has the same versions as well. So you want to, at this point, update any uh, plugins that may need it and as you can see here there there is no updates I've already done that uh, but go ahead and do that now before we start the next section